sorry. This is gonna be a good one. Y'all wanna talk about something? I can't do it. Dude. What'd you see? A little tadpole. A little tadpole. <gasps> Can you tell everybody what we heard when we came outside this evening? I heard a two legs against my coat. <laughs> crickets. 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 What does that mean? Crickets. If we start hearing the crickets, it means what? Where is a cricket? Listen, you'll hear them. Well, right now the pond's too loud. If we go to the front, we can hear them. Hear what? Crickets and the cicadas, and that means spring. Summer. Summer. Almost spring, then summer. That means warmer weather is on the way. I can see you're already breaking in those new pants, huh? Yeah. All right, y'all. Easy sheet pan supper tonight. Oven baked ranch pork chops, and we're gonna make some potatoes. We're gonna put them on sheet pan too. I have both of my, I have my newer one and my extra well loved one under there. Now you can cook it all on one sheet pan, but we're making a lot of pork chops and I'm not gonna have room. So I'm gonna do the pork chops on one and the potatoes on another one. And we've almost used up all those potatoes, y'all. We still have about 10, maybe 10 to 15 pounds left. I don't think I'm gonna have to freeze any of them. Most of the time when I make pork chops, I do some bone-in and some boneless. But this time, I'm gonna do all bone-in because I got this big pack of bone-in pork chops on clearance, well, reduced for quick sale. <laughs> Almost said clearance, they on clearance. <laughs> they were reduced for quick sale at Ingles. So we're gonna do all bone-in this time. And I hope I can fit enough of them on, on here. I need at least about eight of them. I think I can fit eight. The other ones will stick in the freezer. There are 10 in this pack. You know what? I may be able to fit them all on here. We're gonna go ahead and just make them. Instead of freezing just these two, they will get eaten, if not tonight, for lunch tomorrow. Or on leftovers night. Okay, we're gonna scoot this over to the side, and we're gonna get a ranch mix. I think one pack will be enough. All we're gonna do is mix this ranch seasoning pack with a little bit of oil and some parsley flakes. That was about a tablespoon of parsley flakes, and I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of oil. We'll bring our pork chops back, and we're just gonna brush this on top of each one. And then they're going in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until they're cooked through. Then I'm gonna turn on the broiler and broil the tops of them. Okay, so we're just chopping up some of the potatoes. I just washed them, we're leaving the peeling on. I'm just gonna fill up this pan here, and I'm gonna put some onion on here with them, and then we'll just season them. I think I'm gonna use that garlic and herb seasoning, or you can just do salt and pepper, and a little bit of oil. Okay, we've decided to have crescent rolls instead of biscuits, and does everybody want cheese in their crescent rolls? All with Man. cheese? All right. Manny and Daddy up here. are going to help me make this. <laughs> Y'all want to talk about something? Just the other day, fellas have been doing this little deal on the phone. Every time you eat something, mm -hmm. while you're eating, you tap it in. Why don't I try this deal right here? And all of a sudden, I decided to go on this little journey. Got up the next morning, I said, baby, put that app on my phone. It's a calorie counting calorie. app. My friend told me about it. She's probably watching. Hey girl, we've been trying this. I got on the I got on the train for just a second. Now I'll tell you what happened to me. I got on the train and I started on this journey and I got up there to about Franklin, North Carolina. Everything was going good. I got 1,800 is what it says. 1912. 1912. 1912 to lose how many pounds? Like 15 pounds? 15 pounds and I'm that. In 90 days. 90 days. Boom, there you go. So I'm up there at Franklin, North Carolina, waiting on the veterinarian to 
get me some medicine so I could go on this farm. And I said, I'll just, while I'm waiting here, I'll just eat me three hot cakes and a piece of sausage. From McDonald's? I sat down and ate that deal. Went on my way, got to my first farm right there, and when I got out of the truck, it don't know me. I said, Ty, just type that in. How about you? I typed it in, and all of a sudden, it took every one of my calories. From there, I threw that thing down, I went and got me a hot fudge sundae. I said, forget that, buddy. That ain't gonna work for me. I said, forget it. I can't do it, Bill. I'm sorry. Clyde, which is my horse, he's just gonna have to tote me in all them calories. So I don't worry about them calories, everybody. That's not something that's, we're gonna do both of these, baby. Yeah, Why both not? cans, yeah. Both cans. And mainly I'll show you how to roll them. Daddy cans. don't know how to do it, Manny. I show you. You gonna show me? Yeah. All right. See? I that's, see that. That's roll it, that's like that. Oh, okay. Now everybody, y'all may be looking like Titus, your hands are dirty, they ain't dirty. That bothers me when y'all think about that, but my <laughs> calories don't bother me. I thought that was funny, honestly. I ain't kidding y'all. Yeah, no, and look. I kid you not, I, I eat them three little bitty pancakes. But look. And when I got out of that truck, I'm telling you, I thought for sure I was going to have a bunch more. And I was like, what? I looked at it two or three times, and I thought I've heard them horses. I said, like, forget that. What was really funny was the night before, you told me to put it on your phone. It was the night oh, before. Oh, it was the night before. Yes, I'm sorry. And, it was the so night before. we went back to. I was excited by it. I said, I'll do this, dude. I'll do it. We went back through that day. And y'all, every time I thought he was done telling me what he had eaten that day, he was not done. I put cheese in there. You'd be surprised. Oh, good. Breakfast only? Uh-uh. I'm sorry. Manny's making these things quick. Now, do we want to put a little garlic butter on these? That's how I did them last yeah, time. put a little garlic butter. Butter? <laughs> I put cheese in this one. Dun dun. Hey, I need a little bit. Big. I try, I need the biggest time. Do you help with that time? Yeah. I'm with the work harder system. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Eat all you want, work harder. I'm making a cheese bun. Okay, I've just got a little melted butter with some garlic powder and parsley flakes in there. Um, I'm making a ball right now. Oh, okay. I'm gonna brush this on these yeah. rolls. Come everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and- Here, you can use this, I'll just cut the carrots with it. Okay, we ain't gonna worry about the proper kind of knife because we don't got the proper kind anymore. Yeah, we do, I got them all. <laughs> really good. How about these calories right here? <laughs> if you've never done this right here before, you need to do it. It's great. Okay, y'all, it's a few hours later now. I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to set up my breakfast stuff for it in the morning. I'm gonna make the bacon, egg, and cheese croissants, I think, so I'm just bringing these little croissants over here. I'm forced to go ahead and cut the cantaloupe. When we were eating supper, it fell. It was sitting on the bench, I think, and it fell off and cracked. So, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up real quick. Cantaloupe is my favorite fruit to have with breakfast. It's really good with sausage, especially like sausage gravy biscuits. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. I can tell, it's kinda dark. I'm gonna put the seeds and everything in here and we'll feed it to the chickens tomorrow. They love cantaloupe. I have this candle going back here. I can't even remember where I got this from, but you know, whenever the house filled with stink the other day from the freezer being unplugged. I lit almost every single candle that I have. <laughs> Trying to get that smell out of here. But anyway, I can't even remember where I got that one from. It looks like probably Marshall's or TJ Maxx or something, but it's a silent smeller anyway, so it didn't do too much good. It's supposed to smell like some kind of latte, but it smells like nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's a little treat for the chickies. We'll probably have some strawberries uh, in the morning too, and I'll add the little stems in here. They like to eat those too. But yeah, cantaloupe and honeydew are my favorite, but the rest of the family doesn't really like honeydew. I used to get it sometimes, but they don't like it. This is a good way to make you go ahead and prep your fruit. When you get home, just like let everything roll off the table. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't do that. I used to be terrible about prepping the fruit, especially watermelon. I would get a watermelon and that thing would stare and stare and stare at me. We don't have to worry about that now because that's Manly's favorite fruit. 
And if he sees a watermelon, he will remind me until I cut that thing. <laughs> So the smell is gone out of the house now. I decided to go ahead and plug that freezer. But if you missed yesterday's video, what happened was the deep freezer got unplugged. I'm pretty sure because this happens a lot. People sit stuff on the deep freezer. Like if we're cleaning out the cars or whatever. If we're just bringing stuff in the house. If people don't know where it goes, they put it on the deep freezer. And so I'm assuming that some stuff got put on the deep freezer. And then fell behind it which i didn't see anything behind it when jonah opened it yesterday and we realized it was unplugged but somebody may have seen the thing fall and picked it up from behind the deep freezer but didn't notice that it knocked the plug loose so anyway thankfully there wasn't a lot of food in there but there was catfish that made a terrible smell all through the house but doesn't stink in the house anymore the deep freezer itself however does still smell so I let it air out for a really long time. The smell went away, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up, let it start getting really cold. Hopefully it won't smell, but it does still smell. So, my question is, what can we do to get the smell out of the deep freezer? I know some of y'all have already commented and said a few different things. Uh, cleaning it with vinegar, and then putting in some baking soda. Some people said to put charcoal in it, like bags of charcoal. Others said coffee. So I think I'm gonna try the vinegar thing first. I think I'm gonna try that tomorrow. I'm gonna wipe it down really, really good with vinegar, but I guess I should leave it plugged up, right? I mean, cause if I unplug it again, I'm afraid, I don't know. I just wanna get the smell out so I can continue to use the deep freezer. Cause I'm worried if I put stuff in it now, it's all gonna, you know, smell and taste like that catfish. So y'all give me your tips how to get the smell out and should it be cold while it's, you know, in there, whatever we put in there. All right, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator uh, for breakfast. This is, I'll sit the grits out over here too, but everything else needs to stay in the refrigerator. Okay, bacon, egg, and cheese croissants, grits, and fruit tomorrow. What are y'all having for breakfast in the morning? Let me know, and also how to save my freezer. <laughs>